Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and another Kadocha video. For today's backdrops, I have this really cute Hamtaro print and then this really cute Studio Ghibli mix print. Um, I really feel bad that I can't remember the artist, but I lose business cards too easily and these arts are from a couple years ago. So yeah, well actually I think this one is from last year, but still I, I just don't remember the artists sadly but their art is really cute i wish i can give them their proper credit but i just can't remember anyway let's just get into the video so i got a bunch of little items i'm just gonna pick through them from the top okay so first okay so this first item is like a little sticker case and it has like babbit on the front it's like a really soft light purple color very cute this item comes from one of the blind box series and the inside has all these little stickers so super cute so focus there you go we have sauna aikido another cute one of sauna another one of sauna and a little babbit and then back to the front so yeah really cute little sticker case all right and then next we have a keychain took me a little while longer to get this keychain compared to the other stuff this is from the 2019 ribbon event that they had in japan last fall last summer to last fall so this was one of the items one of the new kadocha items that they had i got most of the stuff already but I was missing this one and now I have it. Really cute little gold clasp. And it's like a little thick acrylic keychain. So really cute. And then next we have a phone charm. So super cute and it's like the manga. A little manga style phone charm. Really, really cute. And then next we have this old little wallet pouch. <laughs> they have a lot of these little pouches for Kadocha actually. This one's a little bit dirty, but that's all right. That's what it looks like. And it has like these couple little pockets inside. And then this is like a little coin department compartment I mean but yeah really cute not too bad it's definitely a bit aged and a little kind of like dinged around the edges but for collective reasons <laughs> and then next we have this really cute little tissue pouch okay here's what the little tissue pouch looks like really cute and then you just open it from the back so it's unused, but it still has, so it still has the tissues inside. Really cute little thin pack. And then right here, we have these two trading cards that I found. I don't know much about these trading cards, actually. I've seen them a couple times, but I haven't gotten them before. But now, um, since I saw two different ones, I decided to get them. Hopefully I can find more and kind of find out what they go to. I don't know if they come laminated like this. I think that they do because since I found two that are laminated, I'm assuming that maybe they come this way. And I guess once you have multiple, it'll spell Kadocha on the back. It looks like they will put together a picture when you have them all. So I have no idea how many is in, in the card series period, but this card is number one. And then this card is number three. So, yeah, don't know how many more there are or what the series is even called, but hopefully I can find more and have a nice little card collection. Next, I have another little phone charm phone strap that was from the uh, Ribbon 60th anniversary that they had. And this one is also like a manga style keychain, but it's kind of like a printed one. So it's, like, it's like metal printed opposed to the other one which is plastic so pretty cool in the back this looks like that 
Next is another little pouch that I had found. Okay, so this pouch has like a long string. And then inside has like a little flap here and a little flap here. So maybe you put like an ID card or something in here and you just wear it around your neck and maybe your train pass goes in here or something like that. I'm not sure, but still really cool and cute. It says Sana and Akito on the front. Okay, next I have these sticker sets. I'm not sure if these came in like one of the Japanese DVDs or if they came like in the ribbon magazine or something. But I just found them loose like this. So not exactly sure where they come from, but they're really cute. That looks nice. And then these ones look like they might have been ripped from a magazine. That's why I think that it could be from Ribbon Magazine and maybe the other one is from the DVD set or something. I'm not too sure, but all the stickers are still intact. So this is really cool. It's a really cool find. All right. And then next we have the Sana Pattered Necklace. I already have the Batwit one and I showed them in a video before. But I finally have a sauna. Oh my goodness. With her original packaging, which is really cool. So now I'm just missing one from the series, which would be a keto, which I've never seen. Um, so hopefully I can get lucky and come across him some kind of way. But yeah, so here's sauna. And when you pull it like the when you pull the string, the wings, the wings flap. That's why it's called like a patter pattern necklace because of the sound that it makes so really cool to have her out of the collection okay. and then back here we have some playing cards that I found which I thought was really cool this still has the original packaging a little rip but that's all right They come in this really cute clear acrylic case. Take a look at some of them. All oh, the backs are all the same. Okay. I thought the backs might have been different. Okay, so the faces are all the faces are all regular. And then the blank one. Oh look, that was a little anticlimactic. I thought I would have had like some really cute character designs or something on it, but no special design except for the backs. Still really cool to have some playing cards. And then back here are also another type of playing cards. These are a little smaller, if you can see the in comparison. These ones are a bit smaller. Okay, and here's how these ones look. Let's see if these ones have any type of extra art to it. Okay, the backs are just all like that. Nope. Okay. No special design on the cards themselves. But these are like mini smaller little smaller little playing cards. Really cute size. Next is this really cute little alarm clock. I've actually seen this clock before featured in Ribbon Magazine. So really cool that I actually found it. Um, there's no battery in it right now, but it does make like a little um, chiming, chiming noise. And then this is the button to stop it. So really cool. It has a little scuff on the surface, but that's all right. It's really cute little, little clock. And that's, you know, palm size. Love this color blue. And then next I found another um, blind box series. I do have this series already. I have three of the four. And this one was actually opened already when I bought it. So, oops, just dropped a piece. Well, here's what the little pieces look like. It's a little backdrop inserts. 
then they come on this thing and you just break them off and put them all together but I think it's really cool um, to see like unpainted figures like this really cool this one is number two which is this bottom one here really cute and then it has the instruction manual for how to assemble it next is this really cute little small like sticker dispenser tape dispenser kind of thing which is really cute it's part of the stationary series And this box was opened already too. So just to get a little peek of what it looks like inside. It comes with this really cute little booklet. Which has all the little stickers on it. Or you could put the stickers on it I mean. Really cute. Small little, little book. <laughs> Super cute. And then this is what the, the roll looks like. And all the pieces are inside. So really cute. Next we have Sana's activity planner kind of book thing. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure the proper title for it, but it's like her little activity book. They call it Sana Idol Teku Tech. Uh, but yeah, so this is like one of the last pieces that I kind of got for the series. And the box is in it's a bit of a rough shape. This is one of the more harder pieces to find, at least for me, at least. I mean, <laughs> at least for me, it was. I didn't mean to say that twice. But yeah, so the box is in, it's in kind of rough shape, but everything should still be in there. <laughs> okay, we got it out. I guess this is just the cardboard support and a little paper. Okay, so here's what the actual book looks like. Wow, it's it's like oily, has some type of, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it has like some oily stuff on it. <laughs> All right, and we're back. So I did my best to wipe, wipe it down. I think, I don't think it was the pen. I think just over time, I guess the material kind of built up some residue on the outside, but um, yeah, I wiped it off the best I could. So here's a, what the pen looks like. Looks like a little marker, actually. I didn't take it out of the package. I just wiped off the outside of it. It's probably like a small little felt marker. And then here's again what the book looks like. It has some English down here at the bottom. And you can tell like the just the outer cover of it too has some discoloration from the age has like some hints of yellow throughout but that's all right then you open it up my idol sauna on the cover page super cute you can kind of see like there's like some oil blotches here on the page as well but you know it's all right it's from the 90s so don't expect it to be a hundred percent flawless here's a really cute picture I'm not gonna go through every single page I'm just kind of flipping through it a little bit oh it looks like these actually they're clothes you can you can change them out I guess like trace over the shirt with these different color patterns here and then do something with it I guess <laughs> pretty cool oh cool and you got some really cute stickers here on the back page they're in some are in English too really cool nice oh, looks like there's a little bit more of the oil right there but yeah so really cool Really cool book. Happy to finally have this. 
Um, I know the last time I saw this, I got into like a little bidding war online and I chose to back out because it was getting to be too pricey. So I think that was like sometime last year, last summer-ish. And yeah, I backed out, but it worked out because I was able to get this for, I guess, a decent price. Um, yeah, it was all right, I guess. That's, this is actually how it's how it was supposed to go. It's supposed to go inside this little protective sleeve thing, I guess, and then put it back in the box. And then it fits in perfect. <laughs> Next up, continuing on with some of these boxed items, we have um, Sana's photo file. Okay, so Sana's photo file looks like this, and the back looks like this. So this is like, I guess, to be paired with the uh, Polaroid cameras that they have for this series, and, and you can put the photos in a file, <laughs> the little photo album. So let's take this out. Very, very cute. I like this little pencil looking drawing of Sana. Very cute. Back looks like that. And also has some cute little stickers and another little marker so when the Polaroid comes out you can draw a little something on it or write the date or whatever and add a little sticker. And there's like a little picture of what the actual camera looks like that Babbitt has. <laughs> Really cute. Yeah. Very thin pages, too. So, yeah. Just a cute little photo album. Next, we have this little, uh, like, stationary stamp kind of set <laughs> for the series. Packaging looks like this. Yeah, I think it's just it's just that. All oh, these little images are really cute up top. I think it's just, yeah, like a little... Because, you know, writing letters and stuff is really popular in Japan. So I believe this is just a little kit to make it fun. Add some fun little things to it. So you have the instruction manual here. Oh, let's see if these are stickers. Oh no, they're not stickers, it's just blank, blank pages, okay. And yeah, that's all. So the link itself is really tiny, very cute. And it looks like you just slide the arrows up and it opens. How cute. Is it a stamp pad? Yes, this is a stamp. I mean, an ink pad. <laughs> Blue ink pad. You got some little tongs right here. Very cute. Let's see if the bottom pieces are in here. Oh, it's just. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay, really cute. Oh, these are like, um, like silicone. Uh, rubber or something. I thought it was going to be like hard plastic. But no, they're like, you know, like little rubber silicone stamp pieces. So you have the hair right here. I don't know if it's showing up well. You have the hairstyles on the right, and then you have the facial expressions right here. Really cute. And I guess it has the little holes in the back for for this maybe to make it easier to pick up I'm not exactly sure how it would go together I think you put these two like pink things together so you don't have to hold it by this itself and that's what it looks like but yeah so you have those pieces and then you have uh, the Japanese characters right here and you got some hearts 
right here and some little stars. Hopefully that's coming up well. Really cute. Little cool little letter stamp set thing. This set I've actually seen many times before too. Um, I just never got it the times I saw it. No reason, I guess. I just didn't. But now I'm collecting all things Kadocha, so. Yeah. And I guess when you, if you take them all apart, they probably fit in these little two extra blank compartments. And probably the character letters go here. So, yeah. And then just opening up the instruction manual. So I was correct in how to use it. You use those little pink pieces to hold the um, rubber pieces in place. And then these little cards here are what you use to actually make your little whatever you want to make <laughs> for the stamps. So pretty cool. Next box set is another art style set. This is like for tracing. Here's what the packaging looks like. This packaging is a little bit in rough shape also, but that is all right. So let's open it up. Be nice. So you have the instruction manual here. And then the actual pad itself. This is like a, it's coming up really bright, but it's actually like a dark pink. Pretty cool. Back. Hmm. Okay, these are the little um, like reflective shield things. So you use it just how it's being shown on the cover here. So it's like if you wanted to draw Sana. So it has the image backwards and then it reflects through the little um, little dividers, the little acrylic dividers, and then you're able to trace the picture. So let's see if they put them all in here. Look oh, cute. So you got a keto with stars and Babbitt. Ah, oh, a double sided. Okay, that's cool. Wow, these are really cute. <laughs> Got the hammer, Babbitt and Morrow. And then this is the blank page, so you can copy it onto there. And you have Sana with some cute little pigtails. And again on the back. And then, okay, so these are rest are just uh, blank drawing sheets. So you only really get four, you only get four different styles. These two and then these two. And the rest are all blank pages. Okay, that's not so bad. I wish it would have been a little more drawing pages included. But here's what the instruction manual looks like. And now you're supposed to set it up. This is fun though, you know, you can practice tracing or practice art with it and the last art style box set is this um, little mini stencil set so for tracing and drawing again but it has stencils inside so what the packaging looks like The top is still taped. <laughs> All right. okay. Whoa, I can already see these little markers are fried. <laughs> we'll get into that in just one second. Let's take a look at the inserts and the instruction manual. Okay, a lot of little pages 
here. This is just the okay back card thing. There's the instructions. Oh, I can see my hands are getting really well. That's the ink from the other one, but I do see like my hands are getting dusty from from these items. So that's what the inside looks like and how you're supposed to use it. And then this. Still tape shut. These are all the stencils. <laughs> Which look really cute. So focus. So you have Maro, Sana, and Babbitt. And then and like the, the hammers and music notes, flowers and hearts. It's really cute. And then you got these little plastic sheets well they're not they're not plastic actually i don't let's see it's not really coming up on camera but they're like they have little designs on them let me see if i can get it to focus okay you can you can kind of see it now it has like some some lettering in japanese then some little other designs on it on it so that's that one and then here's this one, really cute, with the clock, the hammer, Babbitt, like a little uh, speech bubble thing, really cute, so those are cool, I think it's just those two that I saw, yeah, okay, and then the other, is this one, no, okay, the other stencil is Sana and Akito really cute these are nice and I guess this must be the stencil holder everything must go in here pretty cute all right and then now <laughs> the little case looks like this Whew, look at those markers <gasps> oh my goodness it looks like a melted candle wick <laughs> the markers are really cute because they're like so small but yeah and then this must be the ink pad up here you get three different colors yeah it's just oh it's actually wow it's like it's grainy but it's kind of like I don't know why I touched it <laughs> I have paper here to the side though but yeah so this is what the little set looks like really cute nice all right here we have one of sana's outfits for the um i don't even remember how i pronounced it last night last time but there's like the little singing doll figures there's one of sana and one of akito which they're actually featured right here on the back i finally was able to find one of sana's outfits um there's two outfits for each of them and I have uh, one of Akito. Now I have one of Sana. So it has sunglasses, a little hair ribbon, some other little accessories. Really cute. And here are the outfits up here. Really cute, finally. So I just need one of each left for them now. These are really, really hard to find. Very, very hard to find. Alright. And then next we have a... Handkerchief, mm -hmm. handkerchief. Which there's a ton of little handkerchiefs for Kadocha. I've seen a lot. Um, I've seen a lot of pictures of them. Not too many that I have found for sale, but um, yeah, these are really cool. Like little, they're really thin. You can probably see right through it, but very cute. Next, I have this tote bag, which is really cool. This tote bag is actually an exclusive item for the Japanese release of the DVDs. It was a bonus item, and but someone was selling just the tote by itself. So, of course, I bought it. Small little tote, but really cute. It just has a green babbit 
on it. Yeah, I really do want the Japanese release of the DVDs. There's there's multiple ver versions that they have, um, but there's like a specific set that I want, and it's the set that has that this um, tote actually comes with. It's really really expensive. It's really rare too. Um, the value for that hasn't dropped. It's pretty much still at its like original retail price, which is really expensive. But yeah, we'll get more into that if I'm able to ever get those DVDs. And the second to last item is this really big, well not really big, but this 55 piece Kadocha puzzle. It's not super big, but it looks really cute. The back has like, I don't know what this is, some Japanese kid game or something, but this is the actual packaging for this puzzle. And then my last item, which is an item that I was hunting down for a really, really long time. Super, super good find with this because this is so hard to come by. I saw it one other time for sale, but wasn't able to purchase it in time. And then I haven't seen it for sale since. And then now, now I have. So now I finally have it. Super, super, super good find. So this is like um, a storyboard book for Kadocha. That's what the front looks like. I'm not going to go through every page, but we'll just kind of flip through it. It's like an art book, but without color. You know, like a storyboard when they do the character designs and scene designs and stuff. So, really cool. And it has some of like, the Japanese notes on it. So happy to finally have this book. I did already skim through it before um, filming this video because I was just really excited. But this is just like a little sneak peek inside to what it looks like. Really, really cool. <laughs> Sana's alarm clock. If they made like a collectible version of this clock, that'd be really cool. I don't think there is to my knowledge, but if they had one, it'd be really cool to get. <laughs> like the schoolmates. So yeah, really, really cool. So happy to have this. I don't know how many times I've said that already, but <laughs> it's a good find. Yoshi, Ray, the mom, Kido, <laughs> really cute. So yeah, and this is the beginning cover page. So yeah, that is, wow, kind of a long video, but hopefully you guys stuck around to see all these items. Um, anyway, that's all I have for now. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.